I thought it was going to be finale today, but no, suit is next week. We got two more episodes, including this one, and we got to introduce two, two new characters. One's like a gal, Gyaru kind of guy, which has pink hair, and he's got a hot dog glizzy phone, and he's super chill and kind of slow, but at the same time, pretty strong, I think. And then we got like Macho Man wrestler protein dude, who's going to be basically now we have like top five, right? Top five of both footing first year is going to be... Who is it? Uh, the two characters I just mentioned, Mad Dog, Suo, and Sakura. And the fucking Takemichi wannabe, that guy, fucking sucks. Nide, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Sakura -kun ga ii to huh? We're gonna be the captain, I think. The alpha of the group. You think Mad Dog is suited to be the captain of your place, but he doesn't even know how to fucking talk. He just makes noises and grunts. The people have acknowledged you. One. I still don't think that he actually won against Togame. I think Togame basically realized that, oh, there's a deeper lesson here to be learned. I'm just gonna quit right now. But sure, he won. So sliding in. It's like, yeah, I'm not gonna be captain, but hey, let me be your vice captain. Come on, I'm second in command right now. Slick, bro. No! Absolutely not! Anyone but this motherfucker! Why him? He does nothing but fucking yell like me, but I'm trying to fucking make content and he just fucking he just fucking cries and fucking writes in his dialogue. Let him be the fucking manager of the team. That's crazy. What the fuck have you guys seen Nide do that would compel you to be okay with this? I don't understand. What the fuck has Nide done, bro? I'm waiting for Nide to do something significant, but bro has not done shit. This is his thing, right? We go with a fight, and then everyone's all chill, and Nide is like, Oh my god, it's that person! There's no way we can win! And then we win, and they're like, Wow! I knew we could always do it! There's some jealous people? Is there some jealous people? Power of friends. You're just like Choji? Yeah, he is. The pursuit of, you know, getting to the top by yourself. I, I, I didn't expect him to be the loud type, but I guess it makes sense because he's got headsets in and he can't listen to his own voice because the music's too loud. Is that his thing? What the fuck? That was the last thing I fucking expected from this guy. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Take the headset off. <laughs> the immediate switch up of his fucking voice. <laughs> yeah, it was just too loud. You do it. Huh? Wanna fight? Wanna fight about it? Yeah, he ain't here shit. Okay. Cause he's the actual captain. Korra is not the captain. Bro's name is Ren. It's actually, you know what? The rolling of the R joke is still funny to me, man. Yeah. Let's fight him right now. Everyone knows your name. He just completely ignored him. Yeah, we're here with you. Mr. Wrestler. Okay. Okay. Alright, you handle that shit, go ahead. We're getting more friends, man, on our line! Wow! Our phone list is increasing. 
I wonder how much these characters matter. Like, of course we know the important characters. They have like cool hairstyles and actual designs. Then there's the rest of these characters, right? Will they actually matter in the story or not? Probably not. Then don't do anything! Okay, let's learn about Ren. Shut the fuck up, Niren. He's not mad there, he just couldn't hear anything. Okay, okay. I haven't heard Mushroom Head talk yet. I haven't heard Mushroom Head talk yet, so when I heard the grandma speak, I was like, hold the fuck up, is that Mushroom Head's voice? Oh no! Is Risa a cat? It's a cat, right? It's probably a cat. It's not a daughter. You're gonna make this grandma cry? I don't think Risa is a granddaughter or a daughter. I think it's a fucking cat. That's a, it's not a missing child, dumbass. It's a fucking cat, but it's kind of funny. But he's like, all right, I'm going to fucking take care of her granny. All right, Mushroom Head, you take care of it. Goodbye. He's a leader, he just lets the other boys do it. No. Yes and no. A leader is supposed to delegate tasks onto other people so that he's not doing low-level, you know, implementation. That's why there's other fucking foot soldiers to do that for him. But that was kind of funny how he said, I'm gonna do it. Then he's like, hey, Mushroom Head, you fucking do it. What if Mushroom Head texted a group chat and said, now you guys do it. And then he's like, I'm out. So it's like, captain to vice captain to foot soldiers. And now they're the ones actually doing the work. It's a cat probably climbing the tree, come on. <laughs> no one wants to be the last one to fucking mention something in a group chat. And it's like, read by 42 people. No responses. No reaction. Yeah, probably would feel bad. His ears blush. Just like Nephi from Elf Bride. Hey, there's Risa, the cat. Huh? Is this entire episode actually gonna be just cat chasing, bro? It's like that one Code Geass episode we just watched, where the entire episode was trying to catch the fucking cat with zero helmet. Oh boy. I can't wait. Parkour! Parkour! Come back, Risa! Parkour! 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 What's he thinking? Oh! Okay, you know what? The parkour animation is actually pretty fucking hype right now. We're not getting a fight, but the movement is pretty crisp. Oh, second year captain! Took his headsets off though, of course. Yes, sir! Good guy. She gonna let it happen again. I bet the grandma is so lonely that she intentionally lets Risa escape so that she has an excuse to go talk to these young boys and have them do all this shit. You may think that what I'm saying is fucked up, but this is actually a very common occurrence with seniors where they'll do some shit just to make an excuse for them to kind of like hang out and have a conversation. It's incredibly fucked up for me to like, it's, it's not fucked up for them to say it, but like, this is a thing. 100% this is a thing. I don't blame her. You know, seniors get lonely. They want to do something, you know? 
母ちゃんが世話になったあてっぺんになれたのはみんなが担いでくれたからだ協力してくれたからお前のやりたいことって何なんだ学級長になってやりたいことがあったからなったんだろうそれって何だなもんね何言ってんだおめえ<笑>そもそもじゃあなんであいつらがやれって言ったんだ And that's the thing about leadership. People in positions of power, often the best candidate are those that don't want it, but the people around them, you know, push them into that position. That is like the perfect leader where they're not power thirsty. They don't even want it. Everyone around them nominates them for the role, and then they kind of act as like a servant led leadership where they will kind of put themselves out there and do the dirty things that you would think that like a leader would make a foot soldier do, but that is like the best leader in life. Unfortunately, politics doesn't work that way. Oh. The fuck was that? <laughs> it's like Kotori from Data Live. I can't make candy even if I run out. This line, I'm sure, is super deep, but I just don't understand it at the moment. I can't make candy even if I run out. Something, something power of friendship preserving it. I don't fucking know. I haven't heard him talk yet, but I've seen him in group chats. That's a good leader. What? Do it for the people around you. Live up to your friend's expectations. Except Nire. Fuck Nire. I'll take that dongo though. No. I don't care. Because they have expectations for you. They think you're cracked. Oh, you count, you count on me? <laughs> yeah, kind of, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, specifically fucking Nire, bro. What's next? Omurai shop. Kotoha. Rude grandma. That doesn't give a fuck. He looks tired. No sleep. Is he too busy in the group chats? Yeah, it is. Just chill, bro. You don't have to save the world. Just, just take care of the people around you. I know some people, but not everyone. We actually gonna spend the rest of the fucking episode now memorizing people's fucking names in our class. First half is finding a fucking cat. Then we're gonna be like, alright, all the fucking NPC names, that doesn't fucking matter. We really gonna fucking do that, bro? And every time he says a fucking name to an NPC character, he's gonna start blushing and they're gonna be like, Oh, Captain cares about me! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> by their first name? You wouldn't call them by their first name, would you? Oh, that's too lewd. <laughs> wonder what Granny looks like in her prime. Because you remember Wise Man Grandchild Episode 1? The Granny there, you know, she was like the fucking... What was her title? Like... The fucking the Lord of Temptation or some shit? Seductive something? I don't know, but like, what, what do you think this granny was in her prime, man? Hura, hura. <laughs> no, 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 it's not just a guru. She had like a different title, too. He is. Abandonment issues. That we haven't got yet. 
We can kind of guess what the backstory is. I'm not memorizing these names, bro. I am not memorizing these. でも嬉しいっす。桜さんがみんなの名前教えろって別に知ってて困ることはねえからな。テレナの名前は私はギャルエンレスリングマン。おいつけじゃあ次をお、恩賽さん怪我してる。Who オッケー、梅宮。急に放送入ったらびっくりするだろうが。え、もう遅いわ。もう放送。マックスとライバイ <laughs> The amount of R's, bro. I love the commitment to it. And imagine that plus 20 other fucking animes, bro. Every, like, after about episode 3 or 4, I can memorize some names, but goddamn, I am not gonna fucking go out of my way to memorize all these fucking NPC names when we're two episodes out from finishing this fucking season. Hell no. Hell no. わからない人がいたら俺が教えるので。ん?若い人。ニリアクチビングユースフル。ちょっと待て。お前全クラスの級長分かってんの。と名前が分かってるってだけです。覚えた。マザファッカー、what he is like the manager role, you know. He's got that utility support role. Uh, wait, okay, um... You know, remember Tensura episode? Remember the Tensura episode where Diablo showed up? And everyone's like, oh my god, they don't even know who Diablo is. But the Demon Hunters, he did know lore about Diablo. And because he knew the lore, suddenly... He was getting glazed, and it was all hype. So Nide is gonna fulfill that role, where later we're gonna meet other students from different schools, and they're gonna be good at something else. But we as the audience don't know, but Nide acts as the hype man to be like, Oh my god, it's that character from this school, and he's so good at that! And we're gonna be like, whoa. It's a context. Okay, now you set the stage for us. That's pretty much what Nide is. <laughs> あれ、ネゴシエーター。相手に自分の要求飲ませるのは得意だし、それとなく情報を聞き。あれ。ま、お互い得意なことやっていこう。What Suwa said there was pretty interesting, huh? Cuz like Sakura obviously is not like a good talker by any means, but Suwa is pretty smooth and he'll kind of handle all the intel gathering or convincing other people or stuff like that. So, okay. That's that's kind of cool. 自分ができることちゃんと分かってて、ちゃんと実行してる。now, what are you gonna do for them, Sakura? Bro is blushing so much right now. You can't see it, but look at his ears. Right? You can't see the front right now, but look at his ears. It is as red as Nephi in Elf Bride. You know he's fucking blushing right now. Wow, you know our names! It's that girl again. Yo, 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 I remember in the episode against Shijitoren, there was an episode when talking about different groups and factions, and there was a super tall girl. This is the girl right there with the red hair down there, right? Okay. <laughs> Salute! <laughs> They're like the four emperors. Oh, shit. The four kings, baby. Oh, yo, twins? Let's look at the character designs here. We have like twins here. This is a tall girl. Uh, this guy actually kind of looks like Mr. Harper. I'm not sure, but he's got camo pants. Why the fuck does this dude have a gas mask on? Is this special ability to release fucking toxins when fighting? Like, why would bro have a fucking gas mask on? You can check out the little outro here. What is it? Anzai. Kuri. Yeah, I'm not gonna memorize their names. That's today's episode of Windbreaker. And what do we do? Uh, we saved a cat. And then we learned about other people's names. But it's 
really more than just that, right? What's really going on is we're trying to decide who the different year's great captains are and trying to form a team around them and Sakura kind of understanding what he can do as a captain and seeing Kaji be like, you know what, I don't think I'm that amazing, but the people around me, they are, and they have expectations that I want to, you know, match. So it's not something like, oh, I want to get to the top, what are you wanting to do? But it's more like, just chill and take care of the people around you, and that's kind of the theme of this show in a nutshell. And then there is some stuff here with meeting other great captains and understanding the whole structure of Bofurin and damn, our organization is fucking huge. Definitely of all the new designs, the girl with the red hair is the most enticing. God damn, those are fucking tree trunk legs, bro. She's gotta be fucking cracked unless this is a cross-dressing person. And if that happens... We can simply make a clickbait title and farm that video. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.